Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and thanks for clicking on the thumbnail. So as the title of this video suggests, yes, I do need to make bendy resin and you're going to ask me why and I'm happy to tell you why and experiment with you in this fun epoxy resin experiment. So let's just have a little backstory. I need to cast some mouldings of decorative flowers and I need them to stay bendy. So what I need by this is that I need to be able to come back to a project or start a new project and then be able to use my castings on curved surfaces without the resin going rock hard so that I can't curve it. So I don't like using a heat gun to heat up my cured resin. I don't like the smell and the idea of like leaching toxins from cured resin that go into the air and then I breathe it in. So what I could do is I could pour the resin into molds and then just leave the resin to partially cure for a couple of hours, then unmold them and then use the decorations while the, bend the resin is still bendy. But this would mean perfect timing, like absolute perfect timing. And I don't always have the time to come back to that project on the same day. So this is my idea. And I've thought long and hard about this and what ratios I would need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with trying this particular ratio and I'm going to make it as accurate as possible so that I personally can use the formula again. And if you want to copy, you can too. So I'm going to choose a specific resin and I'm going to be using a scale to weigh the resin. So as you know, normally this type of resin is measured by volume by eye. Um, but since I'm throwing the ratios off anyway, I don't think it will matter if I weigh it. So the measurements will be much more precise. So I'm going to make a small batch of tea expert epoxy resin because that's what I've got left in my studio. And this is a one to one ratio. So normally you would weigh out equal amounts of both parts. But instead, I'm going to weigh out just 50 grams of part A and only 30 grams of part B. And let's just see what happens. So what I'm looking for is a casting that's cured solid to the touch, but still lightly bendable even after a few days. And if this doesn't work, I can always try another ratio and see what happens. This is the next day and I've left this to harden for the full 24 hours. And normally at this stage, the resin would be a little bit more solid with only just like a very slight bend. So, so far so good. I'm happy with that. But the true test now is shaping it and leaving it to fully cure and then see how it holds up. And I am going to do this by using this terracotta plant pot, which has like this curved surface all the way around. And I'm going to try and curve these floral moldings around the curved pot. At least that's the idea. And for this experiment, I'm going to start off with just the larger flower. I'm going to use some all purpose, no nails glue to stick this on, use some tape to hold it in place. And then I'm going to let it dry again overnight.
the glue has now dried and it is stuck onto the pot and is holding nicely in place. So actually this has been almost a week. We went away for a few days so this has just been sitting in my studio untouched for that long and as part of the experiment what I wanted to do is to see if the other floral mouldings will still be bendy so that I can continue adding them to the pot. So fast forward and now all I need to do is paint them black and there is a reason for this. I am going to do a little crackle effect on the top by applying some white and some crackle medium. Then I'm going to add white on the top of that, let the crackles appear, varnish it and it will be done. And here it is with a coat of varnish and I also used the leftover castings and then I made two more using the exact same method as you just saw. Well I call this experiment a success at least for me and I do have loads of ideas for using this method of making bendy resin for loads of other projects so please subscribe if you haven't already and welcome to all my new subscribers and please do click the like button if hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you back for a new project next week. Bye everyone!